सोच में सकारात्मकता लाएं, जीवन को बेहतर बनाएं। मनु दर्पण पर कॉल लगाए मनुबल अपना और बढ़ाए मनु दर्पण पर कॉल लगाए मनुबल अपना और बढ़ाए चलो आज ही प्रण ले हम मानसिक स्वास्थ्य सुधारे हम चलो आज ही प्रण ले हम मानसिक स्वास्थ्य सुधारे हम मनु दर्पण के काउंसलर से परामर्श पाने के लिए डायल करें टोल फ्री नंबर आठ चार चार आठ चार चार शून्य छ तीन दो नंबर एक बार फिर सुने एट फोर फोर एट फोर फोर जीरो सिक्स थ्री टू नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेरी गुड इवनिंग ऑल द व्यूअर्स एंड लर्नर्स यू ऑल आर वाचिंग सीआईटी एंड सीआरटीज लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन एंड दिस सेशन इज ऑफ सहयोग and as you all know that sahyog and paricharcha these are two very important sessions and are held under manu darpan initiative of the ministry of education government of india as a part of atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan for providing psychological social support to the children parents and teachers across the country for their mental well being and today also we are going to talk about their mental well being and for this we have invited our guest but before uh introducing them let me talk one thing this session is very important and you can be the part of this session you can call us you can be the part of in our uh, live session also and uh, you can drop your comments also in live chat box because you are watching us on ncert official youtube channel and ncert pm e vidya class number 6 to 12 and pm e vidya channels that is 6 to 12 and these are different mediums where you can connect with us you can directly call us on our number which is flashing on your screen the number is 8448440632 and we have one more number also that is 8800440559 so these are the different mediums to be connected with us so let me introduce our experts they have connected with us online first of all i would like to introduce our first guest he is dr p s raju vetukuri sir very good evening to you and very well warm welcome to you Yes. Good evening. Here, yeah. sir is associate professor R I E, that is Regional Institute of Education, N C R T, Mysuru, and we have another guest also. He is Mr. Rohit M. Rohit sir, Namaskar. very warm welcome to you. Namaskar. Good evening. Good evening. Rohit sir is practicing counselor. So these are two guests for today's session. And before we begin the session, let me ask one question from uh, Dr. Raju sir. Raju sir what do you yes. understand uh, by the physical health or we can say the mental health also but first of all, you have to uh, tell us what is the uh, physical health for the students physical health is very important for the students hmm. because nowadays most of the students not able to go to the playground and play because very. of their, most very of true. them are busy with the their uh, gadgets gadgets and uh, even uh, tv these are the media is uh, playing a role to uh, discourage the students to go to the outdoors and uh, doing the some activities the sports games this type of things in uh, if you see this is one of the major challenge for the schools particularly for the students they are not able to find some time to go to the playground and uh, play for that uh, there are also a lot of uh, emphasis we have to give for mm. the schools to prepare at least one or two sessions every week to the uh, physical education this is very important for our system of education system mm. even most of the schools they don't have the playgrounds this is one of the major challenge for the uh, government schools mm. particularly and private schools also mm. in the particular urban areas mm. they not find any space for uh, this type of they will not encourage most of the private schools giving more emphasis on the academics not uh, other uh, but even national education policy also uh, 2020 hmm. mentioned about this holistic development is very important for the development of the students students That absolutely right important. even uh, if you see this uh, crucial for students as it uh, directly impacts the academic performance also through physical education hmm. mental well being and overall development of the students personality these are the key aspects of this one is the reasons for enhanced cognitive function 
it will also help to brain functioning memory concentration through physical education exercise increases blood flow to the brain supporting cognitive process that are vital for learning even the another important thing is the better mental health also hmm. even the stress anxiety and depression this type of better mental health will be through physical education hmm. and point i would like to mention is the improved focus and energy hmm. even the physical activity will help the more energy and can stay focused for longer periods which enhance their ability to engage in the class work and extra curricular activities another important point i would like to mention strong immune system through very physical cool. activities physical exercises reducing the risk of illness this okay. is very important for the students in their uh, student life hmm. better sleep also one of the important thing is the quality sleep they can do if they every day they practice the exercises and other social development even if they are involved in sports and games hmm. with the other students hmm. teamwork communication skills leadership skills social connections and uh, personal growth also they will get it these are the important one more thing on long term healthy habits also their lifelong healthy habits they can uh, practice through this uh, physical health program reducing the risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes and heart diseases this type of food diseases they can avoid hmm. over physical health plays a vital role in students academic success emotional balance and uh, personal development very true sir physical activities plays a very important role in their mental well being for their development we can say for their cognitive development now i would like to ask one question from rohit sir also because he is a practicing counselor so the question is related to the mental health of the of the students so what yes, is the importance of mental health sir for the All students right. for any person hmm. mental health is a place a very prior is a very prior role right. you know right right so uh, the overall uh, quality of your life depends upon your mental health exactly so when you talk of a student like uh, raju sir said earlier hmm. the academic performance of the student hmm. the interaction with the society hmm. his behavior his overall discipline the habits all these are dependent upon the state of your mind exactly okay so a child who is uh, strong in his in his mindset will be more creative he'll be more focused in his academics he'll be uh, and we also know these days we talk about uh, the relation between the mind and the body hmm. so if you are strong in your mind it will also have a strong impact on your health exactly. you will be uh, you will be strong and healthy exactly okay. because whenever you think of uh, playing a game you yeah. definitely you will think about your mind state of mind when it correct, is agreed correct. then only you can go to the playground to play yes. a game or any physical game exactly so it is very important so overall uh, as such the self confidence of a child correct his self care the self esteem all these are dependent upon the mindset of the child exactly so that's how we say that the mental health of a person hmm. determines his life the quality of the life he leads in. yes ma'am okay now dr raju sir i would come to you ki what yes. are all the activities to boost the physical health of the students where they We, can involve themselves uh, some of the activities i would like to uh, discuss one hmm. is the physical activity hmm uh, these are the some exercises like uh, walking running cycling swimming these type of exercises will improve the heart health and release the some uh, chemicals and which can boost the mood of the student hmm it also there is a strength training there are lift weights or body weights exercises like push ups hmm. not only build muscle but also enhance brain functioning exactly even yoga now we, we are now in the international yoga day we hmm. have in uh, indian uh, government is also promoting this uh, in the international yoga day through uh, recognized as the international yoga day uh, through uh, unesco hmm. it is very important for the uh, all the students to start from the early years of their hmm. uh, student days it will help the whole life combines physical movement with uh, 
mindfulness, improving flexibility and uh, strength and mental clarity. Hmm. It will give that type of uh, advantage for the students from their childhood days, the whole life. Hmm. And uh, stretching exercises promotes physical relaxation and reduce mental tension. And while improving mobility, these are the some of the uh, these uh, physical activities very important for them. Yes. So next. Uh uh, on the first slide, we can see the we can show to the uh, to our students also the exercise and physical activity. You can see cardiovascular exercises, strengthening or strength training also uh, uh, they can take it or they can go to yoga. Uh, whether it is the male or female, both the students are required to be involved themselves in yoga exercises, and they are quite uh, uh, strengthening exercise also and stretching also if you if you don't have time to go to the park or go to any uh, gym or anywhere for the yoga session you can even you can uh, uh, do it at home also stretching stretching is a very simple exercise uh, it takes hardly 5 to 10 minutes for you uh, after the study or after uh, some exercise you can have you can go for the stretching also so these are four uh, important points where we can discuss and uh, we go to the other uh, slide also you can see that mindfulness and meditation what do you uh, say about uh, this slide also sir uh, this is mindfulness and meditation are also very important. Right. Meditation, practicing mindfulness or guided meditation can help reduce stress, anxiety and improve focus. Particularly at the time of the examinations, hmm. board examinations, most of the students, hmm. they are not able to maintain, balance the emotions, hmm. stress, anxiety levels. This is very important to every day from the beginning. If they are doing this type of exercise, it will help them to uh, reduce the anxiety levels. Breathing exercises is very easy to do that. Techniques like deep breathing or box breathing can lower stress levels and improve lung capacity, lung, cap lung capacity of the students from the childhood days. If they are practicing this type of exercises, it will help them for the uh, 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 examination time very well. Cool. Rohit sir, sir, what do you uh, think about uh, mindfulness and meditation for the students? Yes, What is your opinion about it? Yeah, mindfulness and meditation has a big role. Hmm. Like, uh, unless you are present in the moment, hmm. you will not be able to focus on what is the task in front of you. Hmm. So, when, you, when a child is in the classroom, uh, he is lost in a number of thoughts. Hmm. So, uh, helping a child learn the mindfulness techniques and this meditation will help him stay in the moment mm. and he'll be, be he'll be more receptive mm. to the topic being taught mm. and he'll be more relaxed and uh, he'll, uh, more of creative in his ideas and he'll be able to express his thoughts with clarity. Mm. So, exactly. mindfulness that way has a big role. These days, uh, in, in some places, some schools, they have mindfulness breaks as such like uh, after a particular interval they give breaks so that uh, ch children practice mindfulness in the classroom exactly i was also so they, coming to this point some of yeah. the schools are also following these techniques breathing exercises and meditation also and before beginning the classes or beginning the session they start to do some mindfulness exercises also for the pickup of their memory or to sharpen their memory i think so yes. yeah. if we go to the next slide also sir we can see the outdoor activities are very important so, what do you uh, think about outdoor activities? What kind of activities children adopt? Walking uh, in the nature is hmm. very important because hmm. being in nature has proven benefits for reducing stress and anxiety. Hmm. While the physical activity improves uh, health of the heart, hmm. it is more important to enjoy the nature. Hmm. And, uh, another important thing is the gardening. Even physical work in the garden improves uh, so many uh, advantages for the mental cleanness of the students' minds. They enjoy in their uh, giving the that type of physical work also. At exactly. the same time, they also hmm. enjoy that type of. Uh, developing some garden that type of bilkul sir aur mujhe aisa lagta hai ki jo bacche gardening ka shauk rakhte hain wo apne parents ke sath bhi activity kar sakte hain kyunki bachcho ko lagta hai ki it is not my responsibility i don't have that much of time i have to study uh, my exam exams are there but 
वो अपना समय निकाल सकते हैं और पेरेंट्स के साथ क्योंकि नेचर के क्लोज रहना भी अपने आप को एक फिट रखना या मेंटल फिजिकल आपकी हेल्थ जो है वो कहीं ना कहीं बूस्ट करता है तो गार्डनिंग का शौक भी बहुत एक इम्पॉर्टेंट होता है सभी के लिए और अगर स्कोप है और स्पेस है तो ज़रूर करना चाहिए yes. है ना सर और yes. गार्डनिंग बहुत ही अच्छी आ, मतलब एक नेचर के क्लोज जाने की एक तरीका है और जाना भी चाहिए और गार्डनिंग हो गई आपकी लेकिन एक सोशल होना सामाजिक होना बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है सर रोहित सर आई कम टू यू नाउ वट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड सोशलाइजिंग एंड बिल्डिंग कनेक्शन बिकॉज नाउ एड इज सोशल होना लाइक uh, like, uh, आप अकेले पड़ जाओगे अगर आपका कोई सोशल सर्कल नहीं है तो वो कितना इम्पॉर्टेंट है सर वट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई सोशलाइजिंग एंड बिल्डिंग कनेक्शन हेलो रोहित सर ओके एम आई ऑडिबल Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So you were asking about uh, socializing and building connections. Building connections. Yes. Okay. So, like, uh, as far as child is concerned, hmm. he cannot stay isolated in the classroom. Hmm. There is like uh, he has to interact. He he must have good friends. Hmm. He must be interactive in the classroom. Hmm. Only these positive connections will help him. uh develop a better character hmm. and then uh, he will get a lot of help from his friends hmm. and as such it will uh, make him a better team player like uh, as a life of a student and uh, like it's not restricted to the school life right when hmm. you go out of the school you have to uh, meet people you have to work in a society exactly so the skills that you pick up right from the school days hmm. these uh these are with you even when you go out of the school and uh, you become an adult and you you may go for a job mm. where you'll have to work with a lot of people mm. so all this team building team building skills those things comes right from the school, school level days. Yeah. right you are absolutely right ki whatever you learn or whatever you are taught in the school level uh, that will uh, work for you a uh, life long right sir एंड वन मोर थिंग इज देयर वॉल्टियरिंग यानी बहुत सारे ऐसे बच्चे होते हैं जो अपनी इच्छा से आगे बढ़ते हैं और अपनी जब उनकी इच्छा होती है तो आगे बढ़ते हैं तो राजू सर आप क्या कहेंगे इस बारे में वॉल्टियरिंग जो होता है वो वट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉल्टियरिंग यूजिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ फॉर द स्पोर्ट्स टू प्रमोट बिकॉज दे गेट सेल्फलेस सर्विस टू द अदर्स give some satisfaction in mm. their students they also this type of practices will help them mm. helping others increases feeling of purpose and uh, connection hmm boosting mental health also it hmm. gives some satisfaction in their lives they also promote that type of school should promote this type of voluntary hmm. work in their uh, the curriculum also some examples so they have to give that type of thing and they have to organize some of the camps hmm and cc nss camps to uh, encourage the children to do the voluntary work it will help them in their life also to service to the other society that is more important for this student days very true sir because the student become very confident if you give uh, the liberty uh, to be volunteer in any activity and uh, i think hobbies are very important for every children if you have any kind of hobbies so uh, what do you think sir hobbies this, uh, i raju what, sir what our uh, education policy also saying that hmm. art uh, and uh, craft hmm. and uh, in the sports hmm. we have to develop this type of uh, holistic education hmm. not just uh, teaching hmm. in the classrooms hmm. that type of change we would like to bring in the, our education system that is very important to uh, involve them and teaching through this type of art and craft to different uh, hmm. situations they can learn better than when it will help them to choose their vocations in their future hmm no need to do, uh, only on academics but uh, they also and some skills they hmm. get some develop some skills in the life that is more important for hmm. even uh, writing uh, on their own in some uh, their experiences also reflections that they give this type of uh, writing about feelings or daily events can enhance the emotional processing and uh, mental well being this also helps them to come out of this type of anxiety and other feelings in that of the examinations mm. exactly absolutely right sir your art and craft always uh, give you a positive uh, atmosphere because 
if you are good in writing or if you are good in art or craft, that, that gives you a confidence. Rohit sir, Raju sir yeah. has already uh, discussed about uh, what is hobbies and art and craft and there can be different type of hobbies also. Some of the children love to dance, some of the children love to sing. So, do you think ki these kind of hobbies also should follow the children? Yes, children should definitely have a number of hobbies. Hmm. It's not like uh, you have the academics part and you neglect exactly. everything. That's exactly. not the Bilkul. life, right? Right, sir. Uh, it's the holistic development of a child. Hmm. So, he, whatever skills or talents are there in the child, hmm. it must be promoted and uh, nurtured. Nurture. So that uh, as he grows up, he grows up with confidence. Okay. That's the role of all this uh, co-curricular activities in life. Exactly. Even I think parents also uh, should uh, give the liberty to the children if uh, the person, uh, if the child is inclined to go to the any hobby. Because yeah. sometimes your hobby becomes, uh, you, uh, become your profession also. Exactly, right. exactly. So, exactly. Uh, we should not stop uh, their uh, liking no, or their hobbies. No. Unlike the old days, old these days, days right. you must promote whatever skills the child has. Hmm. Okay. Exactly. Uh, now we talk about the sleep and rest. Whatever we do, uh, whatever the work we do, at the end of the day, we, we require the rest. Because yeah. rest, without rest, we cannot do the work for the other day, to the next day. So, uh, Raju sir. Yes. I come to you. Now, this is very important. Very for important. Our, uh, very, very important, sir. Uh, that kind of proper planning for their studies also. They have to at least uh, seven to nine hours of sleep per night is mm -hmm. essential for uh, uh, some uh, good health, emotional regulation and mm -hmm. uh, physical recovery also. If you uh, take rest for long hours, it will be good for them to rest of the day. They mm -hmm. can uh, work with the energy that is more important for the students. Mm -hmm. Even nowadays, because of this uh, gadgets like uh, mobile phones and other things, most of the students and parents also mm -hmm. not able to go for the sleep. But, uh, they are not getting more time to sleep because of these uh, interventions of this different technology. Is changing their lifestyles even uh, some even the family is more important here parents uh, should follow this type of uh, if they follow the children also the follow the uh, the same timings for the proper every day that time sleeping time should be there and at least minimum seven hours they have to sleep this is very important for the students those who are in the planned way they have to study not for the before the examinations, they have to study the whole night and the going for the examination is not good at all. Exactly, sir. Bilkul, you said right, sir, because parents' ka role is very important in their role. It is very important. It is very important in many homes that parents are on their mobiles. So, for the children, they plan that they have to sleep at so many hours, so it is very difficult. So, somehow, hmm. the importance of parents' ka jo important role is increasing. Their responsibility is increasing. कि वो बच्चों को एक शेड्यूल बनाए कि इतने बजे आपको सोना है तो सोना है तो गैजेट से दूर रहना है तो रहना है तो यानी कि जो स्लीप होती है वो आपकी फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी होनी चाहिए और ब्रेक्स जो होता है ना पढ़ते समय वो भी बहुत जरूरी है तो रोहित सर रेस्टोरेटिव ब्रेक्स के बारे में आप क्या कहेंगे वट यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय रेस्टोरेटिव या like throughout the day hmm. you are involved in a number of activities hmm. so it is very very essential to take breaks in between exactly. so that you get time to recharge yourself hmm, hmm, hmm. so uh, by taking restorative breaks hmm. you uh, you get better at your clarity of thoughts hmm. you get uh, bet, uh, better at your energy levels exactly now we huh. come to the so, balanced diet sir balanced diet balanced, and hydration yeah, which exactly. is also Balance the second is point. something that is very Important. Uh, commonly talked about. Hmm. You need to have all sorts of uh, nutrients in your food. Hmm. Like different nutrients play different vital roles for your uh, body's uh, immunity, the process of pro different processes in the body. So all this carbohydrate, the whole grains, hmm. uh, green leafy vegetables, fruits, vitamins and minerals, everything has its own role. Hmm the brain development and uh, as such the overall health of your body will depend upon the quality of the food that you take so that's how nutrition uh, and the balanced diet plays a big role hmm. yeah exactly balanced diet and, uh, and uh, drinking uh, enough yeah, water water is also even, required 
Exactly. And exactly. now we come to the mental stimulation. Puzzles and games also we can play, uh, learning new skills also we can uh, learn. So many skills are there. You can learn because whenever you uh, learn the extra skills, you feel quite confident and you feel, okay, I know, I know this work also, I can do this one also. And parents also should promote their children also for the new, uh, new skills in, the, in them, whenever they find it. So now I come to uh, at the end of this session uh, to Dr. Raju sir, uh, how would yes. you wrap up this session sir, uh, uh, what are the main important things to uh, physical and mental health? Actually incorporating a mix of these activities, hmm. number of activities, parents have to play a very important role hmm. to bring this up type of changes. Right sir. They also have to plan according to that, they have to uh, prepare the uh, chart for the students what time they have to give for entertainment, right. what is the time for play and what is the time for mobile use also. Hmm. They have to uh, balance all this uh, in a uh, very planned way. It's hmm. not like, uh, then students also understand hmm. their concern about how much time you have to give for the education and uh, the reading and uh, other uh, reading time. Hmm. But uh, finally, parents uh, changing the parents' habits also, it will reflect in the students' habits. Because if you are giving only instructions to the students, if you are not changing yourself, they may not follow your instructions. That's why parents also to reduce their uh, mobile time, at least uh, during this uh, student's uh, uh, examination time. Um, mm. And uh, they have to take this type of uh, precautions to help their uh, children. Hmm. regularly can help and enhance the overall well-being of the students. This is very important for parents to first change. Exactly. Then expect uh, more change in their students. Right, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Dr. Raju, sir. And thank you, uh, uh, Rohit uh, M, sir, also for being thank with you. us in this Sahyog session. Uh, I really thank to both of you. Thank you so much thank for you, being with thank us. Thank you to all the students. Yes. And dear viewers and learners, this was the Sahiyog session. And if you, if you have any query or any kind of question related to today's topic, you can send your mail also on sahiyog.ncrt at the rate cit.nic.in. Now, your friend Sushma taking off leave of you. Uh, I'll see you again with the new subject with Sahiyog. Till then, you all take care. Goodbye. Namaskar. बेहतर बनाए मनोदर्पण पर कॉल लगाए मनोबल अपना और बढ़ाए मनोदर्पण पर कॉल लगाए मनोबल अपना और बढ़ाए चलो आज ही प्रण ले हम मानसिक स्वास्थ्य सुधारे हम चलो आज ही प्रण ले हम मानसिक स्वास्थ्य सुधारे हम मनोदर्पण के काउंसलर से परामर्श पाने के लिए डायल करें टोल फ्री नंबर आठ चार चार आठ चार चार शून्य छ तीन दो नंबर एक बार फिर सुने एट फोर फोर एट फोर फोर जीरो सिक्स थ्री टू